awful. After all, what could be more Christmassy than a thick stack of syrup-drenched waffles? Hmm. As usual, Herb, there you go letting history take a back seat to your stomach. Uh, the ringing of the bells at Christmas time is a holdover from early midwinter celebrations. When the earth was cold and the sun was dying, evil spirits were very powerful. And one of the ways to drive evil off was by making a great deal of noise. As making noise was all so fun, bell ringing ceremonies became a part of the spirit of Christmas. Uh, next on our program is the exquisite Carol of the Bells. This isn't driving you off. A good evening. Tonight our concert is with the Paris Bell Harmonic, the house orchestra here at Notre Dame Cathedral. I have a hunch they'll give us a wonderful performance under the baton of Maestro Quasimodo. <laughs> Uh, who was that conductor? Oh, I don't know. But, you know, his face sure rings the bell. Oh. One of the most beloved symbols of Christmas is the Christmas tree. Festooned with lights and ornaments. And candy canes and popcorn chains. Yes, of course, Herb. Uh, the Christmas tree has come to represent the focal point of the Yuletide celebration. Uh, o. Tannenbaum, an exceedingly well-known... Here we come a while. 